like we are recording, right? Yes, that's are. not just me seeing that. Okay, good. Um, hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, we're recording tonight, as usual. Um, we're, I'm sure Jerry's going to be um, coming along, and Laura is not with us tonight. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started. Can you guys all hear me? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> So um, I think we'll call the meeting to order. And if you could take, if you and your friend could take roll, Ginger, that would be great. Oh, I'd love to do that with me. <laughs> Annie, I see you. Okay, Bill. Here. You. Um, Pam. Here. Joe. Here. Myself, Ginger, I'm here. Laura, you said is not not going to be here. Right. Okay, Linda. Okay, and you said Jerry is coming. Not yet. Okay. Oh, there he is. I just saw him. Oh, good. Are you there, Jerry? I'm here. Can you hear me? Hear you. Yes. Uh, so Carrie. Yes. Here. Corin. I'm here. Here. Okay, and Yvonne. Here. All right. Here we go. Thanks, Ginger. Um, approval of January minutes. Um, I didn't see anything with them that needed to be corrected. But I wanted, did you say, Linda, that there was a couple edits you wanted to make? Yeah. Ginger got to make a couple of changes after I sent it all to you. Um, okay. I sent you both the little corrections. <clears throat> I mean, they weren't major, but. <coughs> okay. Um, I think Yvonne has corrected it and sent them all back. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So we should be good. I think. Um, I was just, while we're on the subject of minutes, I was wondering if, I know this is, because there's always so much conversation around the table, it's hard to do the minutes just because there's a, ton of stuff yes. going around and I don't know if we I remember a long time ago I was on a commission not for Webster but we really um they were like crazy um into the Robert's rule of order um and I felt like it streamlined like the minute taking and I'm wondering if maybe you and I like go back and look at those Robert's rule of orders together if we could streamline some of this because I know it's a lot for both of you guys yeah. to do yeah well, um, I'm, just, I'm just backing her up she's, she's okay <laughs> so um because I and I've been following what Fogarty um, joint Fogarty. yeah yeah so let's and look at it that was what they want so yeah let's look but at I, it together I, and maybe we can simplify it I'm happy to help with that too okay good Please. so <laughs> and you don't even need to write that in the minutes <laughs> Well, but I'll just remember to email you and we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay, so the um, actual first item of old business um, is the Future Trees of Distinctions program. And uh, an update on that. Um, so I want to thank um, Tessa and Laura who aren't here that helped me with a little bit of um, wordsmithing and um, graphic design comment on creating the, um, I guess, graphics for the, the postcard and language for the letter that's gonna go out. So um, I've been working with Jen Starkey on that. And I just stopped by today to get sort of an update from her. And she hopes to have a letter from the city to mail out to the first hundred residents um, by the end of the week. So I'll share uh, like a draft of that. So I'll share that with you guys as soon as I see that. Um, but she did do a web page um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and show that to you guys um, now. Um, so bear with me while I try and share the screen here. So, um, and a lot of the narrative, this kind of phrase about greening our city came up 
kind of over and over again on the um, flyer and in the letter. So that's kind of what we're, what we're going with. Um, and this, so this is the landing page for that. And this is some of the graphics that's gonna go on the um, postcard. And then the narrative for that. I don't know if you guys, this is only gonna be active for a very short time tonight. <laughs> and then she's gonna turn it off until we like work out the, the kinks. Um, I don't know if I can make that bigger. I see Joe squinting, so. Uh, can you scroll to the top? Is the Webster Rose is the first sentence? Got it. Okay. I like the graphic actually. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just going to scroll down a little. I don't know how fast you guys are reading, but I'm uh, I'm not a fast reader. <laughs> so um, then you go to this page, you click on this, and you would fill in your information here. And basically, um, Todd, um, Greg, yes, yeah, Greg, Todd, Greg. I want to call him Wolferman. Todd, Greg gets an email. Um, from um, basically a, a generated email that generates an email to Todd, and then he's going to be keeping track of and sharing with the subcommittee the you know responses. And basically, we'll get emails from people who want to have trees planted in their yard, and hopefully, we'll get them from just the hundred addresses we send. But um, I think Jen said she had this site live for a couple of days, just. Um, Kind of testing it out and she already got some responses from oh, great. people who did not receive a letter so <laughs> i'll have to manage that but so they'll hit submit and then we'll start um you know keeping our record um so the letter i think is really the next step and i, I want to get you guys to look at that and then after we send the letter out um i would like to kind of see where we're getting with response but that's when i'd like to have the postcards printed out and maybe we could knock on some doors at those addresses and hand out the postcards, you know, just in case people got the letter and threw it away or had more questions or just so we can be excited about trees with people, I think. Hey, Carol. Oh, yes. That, that all looks really great. Um, can I ask a question about the, um, the one hour demonstration? Uh, like lecture was that like number two or three back? Um, um how, yeah. How, uh -huh. how will that work? And um, just a little bit of details about that. Yeah, I don't really have any right now. <laughs> um, you know, we I know over the summer, um, I think we were kind of taking little steps at a time. We want to plan some workshops over the summer, and it would just be I think we do a series of them. Um, with volunteers um, like from this commission, but I'm hoping to, to tap on some arborist folks who know how to plant trees the right way. Maybe even reach out to Forest Relief to Meredith Perkins and her gang. Um, but it would just be an hour long session, probably on Saturdays or an evening or both. Um, and the people could come to any one of the three maybe sessions we have and learn about what it means, sort of the commitment that they're getting into. And they would also learn how to, you know, plant a tree, although they might not be planting the tree that day, but just talk about planting a new tree uh, and the care and what they're gonna be expected to do and then the resources we'll have for them. So 
it, it not the dates aren't pinned down though, and the um, content isn't pinned down. Does that answer your question? I know that's kind of vague. Are you there, Jerry? Um, trying. Oh, yeah. did you have? I know that's a little vague at this point, no, but that that's good. Um, I'm just playing devil's advocate because I'm the yeah. Same, cause I'm the well, same. that's it's why I I said you know we'll be contacting you um because i figured once we start narrowing some of those details down they're looking to hear from us basically at that point any other questions that was a very good question i don't really know when the tree planting day is either i kind of tried to leave things a little vague like uh demonstrations will be scheduled this summer dates are to be determined exact planting day is to be determined I do have a question. Yeah. Can you refresh my memory on how the 100 people were selected in the first place? Yes. Um, the uh, um, Andre Bueller from the City Public Works, yeah. he is an arborist and he heads up the tree crew for the city. He basically, he and I uh, and Ivan and Todd and um, Laura and Tessa met and talked about um, selecting an area of the city so that we could kind of focus planting. Um, and he knew of a lot of residences in that area that had um, opportunities. Uh -huh. So he actually went into the southeast corner of the city and just literally identified potential sites. Okay. And he actually identified 200 potential sites. Right. Because awesome. they don't think that people are going to want trees. Yeah, they they really think that most people will not want trees. And I said, I think the exact opposite. Yes. I'm not trying to think it from 75 yeah. to 50, because I know last fall we talked about this, you were at 75. Oh, because I'm, I'm just tentative about planting. I think we're we just don't have a number yet. I'm I'm sensitive, like wondering how much our volunteers can handle in a day of planting. That's 75 is like the big goal. And we will plant at least fall. Yeah, we yes. will plant at least 50. Okay. We have a whole so we have a goal of 75. Got it. You're just being conservative. That's my nature. <laughs> And I'm cool, I'm sure the world <laughs> I'd like to go for the 75. No. Well, no, we need is enough volunteers to do that. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, Jerry, did you have another question? Uh, no, I just said you okay. have a hu huge crew of Johnny Appleseeds, so we can play. Yeah. That. Okay. Well, you guys make me feel good about it. Then. <laughs> gotcha, I have a suggestion or possibly a motion. I'm not sure. Um, the tree planting demonstrations, we should probably commit to deciding the next meeting in April or the following meeting in May. When, like dates. Yeah. Yeah, I so agree. So maybe May, we'll put that on the agenda. Like or choose. even April. Do you think April's a better choice? To, to decide on when the dates are, yeah. yeah. All right, so. I think the sooner the better. I thereby suggest we put that on the yes. agenda for April meeting. I have another thought, and I don't know what you all, it would be slightly more expense, but is there a way to tag the tree with, um, you know, some kind of poly streamer or something that says this is from this program and oh, yeah. how to inquire That's for more? Great idea. Yeah. 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 The word out. Break yeah, the record maybe, next year. Yeah, you know, and maybe we could also yeah. put um, the potential value mm -hmm. of the tree. You know, some of the tree tags we had on park trees mm -hmm. that said this tree is an essential worker and it, you know, brings yeah. this much value, but it could even be that much, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, kind of information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. Because a big component of this. And initiative is also <laughs> education, you know, educating yeah. people about trees yeah. and the value. So do you, 
Okay. And now, again, maybe I'm ahead of you all. Do you have any kind of any part about this on Arbor Day, like an update or? A, that, um, well, hopefully the, I know the, the real future trees and distinction will be honored then, right? Yeah, it's right. kind of yeah. hard. I'm a little, I don't know about advertising like generally because it's going to be this quadrant of the city, right? Like you're writing you. a letter yeah. if, if your home has an appropriate site for a tree. And I don't know that that's the way it's always going to be managed, but I think that's a way to focus for this first mm -hmm. planting. Okay. Any other questions or thoughts? Those are good ones. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, so I'll be sending you guys the draft of the letter, which would be like mailed out on like city letterhead to make it, make sure it looks official. And then the postcard that we would take around would be a little more fun for the lack of a better word. Hey, Carrie. Yes. What kind of trees and about how big? Uh, um, just curious. Yeah, well, we landed on an inch and a half. I think so. And, um, I think, did I send you what forest really? Yes. Yeah. We landed on an inch and a half size tree. Um, and I think we're going to wait to determine the species of tree. You know, there are certain trees that basically Yvonne wants as a street tree, but we're going to decide on the species of trees specifically based on A, what's available, but B, what's appropriate for the location. Um, and maybe it, that should be reversed really, right? We wanna plant the right tree in the right place. Um, so, you know, if there's an impediment up, above where we're planting this tree, we're gonna plant a small tree like a red bed, but we're gonna have a list of small trees, a list of medium trees and a list of large trees. And those just haven't been, those lists just haven't been determined yet. We've got a list of availability from Forest Relief. Um, and if they can't supply us all the trees we need this go round, because you know they just didn't have much notice because this is a new initiative, um, we may have to purchase from someone else. But next year, we're hoping Forest Relief can grow everything for us. So we'll be really tied into, I think, a species list for sure next year. And Forest Relief can contract go, grow for the future once we know what we actually want moving forward. Right. So, That's exciting yeah. to me. And I think this go around will help us figure out what that list needs to yeah. look like. Yeah, I think we need to always be a season ahead because we need to look at, do the locates where we want to plant and what trees and what we don't want them to grow. Right. I don't know if that answered your question, Jerry, but. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess we could go on to the next item of old business, which is the Trees of Distinctions Award for 2022. And Joe, do you want to give an update on? Yeah. So I saw last time we, we were here, we, we met because it was online. Oh. We uh, talked about trying to get. It promoted in the paper as well as social media. I saw Ginger made a couple of posts on Facebook. Um, the Kirkwood Times has small blurb in it as well. Uh, I've reached out to three homeowners personally, and I got made contact with two, and both of them are willing to let me submit a tree. Um, I'm trying to think what else. 
did you get those free leads from me? Yeah, I did. And I'm, I need to reach out to them as well. Did somebody see the article or Facebook or just, it's, they just... Um, <clears throat> Jenny Fagan just over the years, she'll send me a text and I don't have her name, but I can tell by what she texts me. Gotcha. It's Jenny and she said, <laughs> have them look at these three trees. So she knows her stuff. So gotcha. I did look at um, a tree. I was already a tree of distinction. It was, they called it a swamp white oak, but it, and then it came back out, looked through all the materials, and they said it was a white oak. Anyways, it's right next to Barbary Park. Is mm -hmm. one of the, so if you're talking about having to do a tree walk, oh. you showcase that as right, like right. And um, what street is it on? Hillside. It is 343 Hillside. Is that one already a tree of distinction? It's a tree. It's, it's already not, It's already in the book. Okay. It's the, the book that Webster had printed out, but it's in the book is a swamp white oak. It's okay. it's just rare white oak. I went okay. and looked at it. Um, we can showcase that. As well. I know. Uh, oh yeah, it's huge. This is mammoth. Yeah. Um, once we get the, I guess if anybody else has any nominations, once we get all those, I'll go out and measure the trees. Get all the specs like I did in the past for you. Um, I like to go through the, the old book and see what trees are no longer with us, and so we can update that for the future. Because I know, like the tree on Sunnyside's gone, um, a couple other trees. Um, and I do got a question about. I think they mentioned like a public tree to be nominated. How does that work? Like we if, oh, we just decided to do well. We've just, we've done two in the past. We've done a private and a public. I don't think they've done that every year, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, many years that happened. And I think last time, last meeting, I suggested that we just don't do the public tree okay. this year because I feel like we're a little bit behind just because of the transition and everything. So and I think that is just like if someone sees a tree that's in the on a public property or in a public right of way or something that we reach out to the, I guess it wouldn't be public even. Last year's public tree of distinction was on Webster's campus. So I reached out to the people who manage Webster's campus and talked to them and basically Webster University was awarded a tree of distinction. Gotcha. Award. So public means like public entity versus a private. Company. Gotcha. Because Yvonne has a really great persimmon and blackbird behind the softball field. I don't know if that's too public it's in, since it's your tree. No, that would be a tree that it's got a pretty huge wound on it. So. Yeah, it's, it does. But I mean, it's still all in all pretty great shape. But it's very unique, I mean, for a persimmon that big with the structure. So yeah. just about it. Could yeah. we award the city a, a tree of yeah. or just or just a, or just like a, a yeah honorable mention yeah honorable mention I mean it's yeah. a really cool tree I mean so yeah just a thought I'm just should um, we should we do could we do that this year do you want to um why don't we save it okay for next time okay I'd like to see that tree that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so after you sort of look at the trees that have been nominated, were you going to work with maybe, I know Corin had talked about. Yeah, yeah whoever. Um, just, you know, like a smaller group, and then you guys could bring to us, you know, your top two choices or something. So my thought would be the, when's the April meeting? April so I think it's seven, seven, seven. Seven. and then April 4th. April 4th. So, and then, but the deadline to submit trees is what, March 30th or 30th? I think, yeah. So, we would have to get out and measure the trees, and you and I, or whoever can dial it in to present at this the next April meeting. So, we have something to for Arbor Day, which is yeah. April 20th. Yeah. So, that's kind of my, it's short, but. I think, yes. I think that sounds like a blink. I mean, as soon as you. Okay. And, we, and if we can measure the ones we have now currently, I can submit the two I've talked to and we'll look at the other ones, see if I can make contact with people you submitted or suggested and just go ahead and measure them and mm -hmm. 
start working on that. If we don't get anything closer to the end, if we don't hear anything, we'll just cap it off, I guess. But I mean, that's gonna okay. be kind of tight. I mean, yeah, and I'll need the information as quickly as possible yeah. so they can make the clap up. Yeah. So <laughs> one actually one of the trees is a right away tree. It's a white pine on Iola that I used to prune when I worked in Webster. It's it's pretty large. It's in great shape. That's a right away tree. And I but the homeowner knows it's a right away tree. And I talked to him. Other one, it's a black gum on Virginia. It's an awesome tree. Um, but I got the, the information. They're both cool with me submitting it. And so Okay. What was the last tree I didn't hear? A black gum on 592 Virginia Avenue. Got it. I wonder if I can give you a hand with it yeah. this time. Yeah, for sure. And um, Corin, you emailed me today, and I'm sorry I couldn't follow up with that, but Corin did put sort of a list of potential criteria, and maybe we don't use those this time, but we could look at those together as a group. I was supposed to forward them to you today, but I didn't see the email right away, so I apologize. Yeah. I know he mentioned doing like a, a point system, mm -hmm. and I was trying to look this morning on MDC's website, so I know they rate their tree, their champion trees by points, but I couldn't figure out how many points for, you know, circumference and spread. Like, they didn't show the actual point system that's something we want to adopt in the future we can. I know basically in the past, Devon was just like, it wasn't based on points more or less. No, it was but. based on a gut feeling from the commission. Yeah, um, and so we can move to something like that because I remember him saying that and I wrote it down and I, I try to find the actual, how MDC rates their champion trees. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, we well, can do something like that in the future. Ask so forward like, Corinne's email. Um, I did something simplified. Uh, because I was worried the MBC system is, is terrific. But I thought maybe for our local commission, something simplified would be okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, if we decide it's appropriate, then we'll go ahead and use it. But if not, you know, we can ignore yeah. it. Yeah. Can we weigh in on that via email? Can we like approve it or? Yeah. On an email? Um, I mean, it's sort of a subcommittee thing. It doesn't. So it feels to me like we could. Yeah, I think if it's two or less, you can do it. Okay. Um, or just send it to me and then I can like copy everybody just as long as there isn't the dialogue going around to everybody bouncing around back and forth. Well, just so people can get feedback, like say, yeah, yeah I really like this, or hey, what, you know, think yeah, about changing the, this one thing, but give the feedback to me and then I'll consolidate it, send okay. everybody out. Okay. And then, and then. You guys can take it. Okay, so you guys will be getting an, an email um, probably tomorrow okay. about um, with Corin's draft um, matrix point system evaluation system. So just look at it. If you have any comments, um, share those directly with Yvonne. Don't copy everybody, just share the comments and you can forward them. And once we get through this Arbor Day, I would like I said, I'd like to go through the past champions, see what's alive, see what's not, see if we can't update it on the city website. That'd I'm just awesome. trying, just trying to get caught up, just trying to get this taken care of before I clean up the old stuff. Yeah, and then we great. can move forward and you know, so just short yeah. on time. But. Yeah, thanks for thinking about all that. Yeah, and then I would suggest that we advertise late summer for people to put a, an application because hmm. you can get that fall color yeah and then also if we want to give something a little nicer like a, an engraved brick or something that they could put at the base of the tree or something yeah, that'd be cool instead of a picture frame yeah that we have plenty of time to do it and then it's not this man under the gun right yeah and the, and the picture of the black and my took in my neighborhood is in fall color it's like right around halloween it's awesome so Okay. I can't wait to show you guys. So, but yeah, cool. I, I agree with you. Start it promoting it earlier instead of right now. Okay. So, would, would you say update the trees that are gone? Are you just talking about putting a note in that the tree passed yeah. away suddenly? Yeah. Mm. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> and maybe eventually, you know, have like a, like a 
on the city's website of updated version and then as time goes on each year add that new one i don't know that's just just something i've been thinking about just to, yeah, you're not you're not talking about removing the tree no no no, no. just saying that yeah. you know it, yeah that's fine yeah expiration date <clears throat> so curse of the tree of distinction yeah of extinction. okay any other questions for joe or Thomas or foster okay thank you mm -hmm. um next on the item of old business is the mayor's for monarchs um jerry you want to provide a little update on that i know you and uh linda have been talking a lot about that as a little subcommittee and there's probably some good updates. Yes, can you hear me okay? Yep, yeah. All right. So um, yeah, Linda and I have met and been emailing and have way too many ideas <laughs> and that's good. Um, so the, uh, the next speaker is March 30th, right? And then April 28th is James. Uh, and That'll be at the library, and we talked about, um, and Yvonne, I'm, I'm a little confused in where we ended up, so I think in the April 28th indoor at the library with James, talked about having, um, I think we decided not to have the mayor there because of the timing um, with, it, with, with the election, and mm -hmm. that just do a brief introduction there, and then on our um, May 26 is the Thursday we got we reserved Larson North Pavilion so that'll be outdoors and that'll be more of the kickoff there and um, communicating with Erin and Shank right now as we speak we're texting um, so hopefully she can speak there um, and then Yvonne, um, remind me what so the new mayor would speak but also um, well should be invited um, to that on April 26th. So the, everything's on a Thursday. So that would be Thursday. I'm, I'm sorry, Thursday, May 26th will be outdoors at Larson North Pavilion. And what's gonna, so that's like a kickoff event. Do you, did you guys talk about what would be happening at that? Yeah. Is there any? Yeah. We've started talking about it and we're gonna engage the group more to get everybody's input it's it's really three months away um but also like to i, I have a couple of documents that I, I think it's probably best just for time just to um email them so i, I had the original mayors for monarch document with with the pledge and the action items we've done and then um the news release and then um Linda's been working really well on the uh, revising that news release. So what, what is the procedure for m emailing stuff out? Do I email it all to Yvonne and then she emails it out? Is that the best? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Yvonne, uh, tomorrow morning, I'll email, uh, tonight, uh, I'll email you the, uh, the original Mayo's Monarch um, document and then the um, news release. Okay. Uh, the press release and then can mail it out and i don't know if you want to get track changes back or just people give you comments on that well i actually brought we read, redid the press release a little bit because we both agreed that first of all i need to clarify there's a mayor's monarch's pledge that's the one we signed and Mayors for Monarchs is a completely different program that we did not sign. Wow. And we have been using them interchangeably. Yes. <laughs> so, I've been saying Mayors for Monarchs a lot. It is no four in ours. It's just Mayors, you know, possessive <laughs> Monarchs. <laughs> and we've been tossing it around, you know, both different yeah. ways. We ran into another problem is that we wanted to have, since Mary, Jerry Welch has mentioned, um, that we would have a quote from her, but she isn't responding, oh. and we're kind of afraid she's not going to respond. Yeah. So, so I have taken the liberty to revamp this a little bit, and I'll else you'll have email, you know, versions of these too, with digital. But just so you get a, a feeling for tonight, we also realized that in you know monarchs don't pollinate all that much. And it's all the other guys that do that. So we wanted to flex with the wording a little bit. 
And because monarchs are the ambassador species for this whole thing, and we couldn't explain that in the press release, but kind of make monarchs and other pollinators mm -hmm. so that eventually we can just make this pollinators as we go further ahead. So it's kind of champions in that. And I have made up quotes for both of you. All right, <laughs> I saw that. So you'll have to. <laughs> Along that line of thinking is the, the monarch being the ambassador for all the insects, and we can kind of model our speaker talks off of that, because we're going from trees to trees, trees as pollinators to pollinators, and, um, you know, and then we can move to other species. Linda has a lot of interest in um, <laughs> a fact, and, you know, there's so many things that all of us are interested in that we can use this, I don't know if we want to do it monthly. This is, you know, all open for discussion. We're but having an ongoing I think series. Because I think one of the lists we're supposed to do three action items out of the three we've or already, so. We've already done five, uh, if right. not six. So um, I'll, that's, I'll send to, okay. uh, Yvonne can send that up to Mark. And, um, we've really done more than six. Um, we also have to decide who's gonna, I mean, is Jerry the contact person? Is Terry the contact person? And Yvonne will play a significant role in this, of course. So I'm trying contact to figure out for, the hierarchy. Contact for what, volunteers or? If people see this and want contact. More information. For example, I have right, met right. one neighbor, two neighbors are interested. They're both, one of them is retired and is really interested in being part of this in terms of We've talked about having a team of GSACers or other interested uh, parties who will go to a person's home and help them design a color meter garden and help them plant it. And Wild Ones does that. Yeah. So, so Yvonne, sort of confirmation. Did you then. also say we could um, get a page on the website too to use for yeah. to collect to collect volunteer data. Avon through the city. Greenkeepers or. But yeah, on the, the city website. that's what we were discussing, whether it would be on Greenkeeper's page or the city. Um, right. But we like a single, a single web page. For people. Greenkeepers doesn't really have a presence. Um, mm -hmm. um, that's so something we'll have to talk to Jenny about and see. Um, and I think it would worry me a little bit for, for GSEC to overextend themselves to go out to people's properties yeah. and do things, but maybe you could have a template garden yeah. that people can access on the city's website. So this is a oh, sampling I, I of different that. types of pollinator gardens that you can try out in your yard based on sunny. I mean, there's sample view. designs that we could download yeah. and make available. I spent a lot of time trying to collect more pamphlets. Mm -hmm. right. I got pamphlets for you. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and I, I think Jenny could, could uh -huh. link I have a hundred of park, these now from Sharon Hoyt. And also Sue Lay, who is the curator of all the native plants at Greenscape Gardens, which is the best selection. I'm meeting her in the next couple of weeks. She's going to give me a pile of them. And ideally, I was hoping someone from Forest Greeley, because I think they have pamphlets and you know, brochures about Missouri native trees, which would be really good to have for March 30th. And also for James Bopel's talk, because his big thing is trees that will attract the, the insects that will eat the larva that the little birds need. To eat. Right, yeah, <laughs> and I have a bunch of brochures too for I got a there. couple. Um, oh, and Tyler Valley should things. should have some, so I can try run by there and see. Yeah, I just kind of got my feelers out because um, um, when we had our native tree walk last September. NBC Wild Ones, but which, and they just all brought them. And I think Laura has quite a few of those. But our plan is to have a stash of these always. And then apparently, like this one is open source, and we can download this printer ourselves if we want. But I took this. Okay. Well, then um, for other action items, if I'm not discussing, um, I'm saying we do, we do a demonstration garden at City Hall. Yes, and, and also if you can describe that location again um, on the upper deck of the parking. And I just got feedback about that 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 they need that space to remain um, concrete. <laughs> okay. But um, 
I'm right now working on a grant to put in a pollinator garden at Ivory Crockett Park. Oh, right. So that's a pretty big area. So we'll have that and the, the back bed at City Hall's demonstration gardens. So that's really two more action items off the list. So um, but we, did you, we had talked about having a volunteer cohort to be able to volunteer at different times, mainly for the maintenance, um, because you know you set something up, but then you got to maintain it over the years. Um, do you think that's something necessary for this, the gardens that the city puts in for that? That's not um, I think since there are areas that we already take care of, um, at least the back bed at City Hall, I think the bed at Ivory Crockett would be nice to have some volunteers. Um, and that can go through green keepers um, because I, I have a network of people who just want to adopt a space. And that's, that's a doable. I think it would be good to keep any volunteers? I mean, you worked so hard on setting like green keepers oh, well, no. thing up. Well, you know, just through Deer Creek Water Seven years ago. So <laughs> yeah, but resource. I mean, it's a really good resource, and I think yeah. if we just can start telling people that is Webster Grove's resource for volunteering yeah. for all this stuff. Yeah. So get on that list, you know. And if there's a specific pollinator event, we'll we'll yeah. advertise it that way, but. I think in that native tree walk or plant walk we did last fall, you know, we talked about it. This is yeah. green keepers and what it is. Right. Sign up here for this kind of stuff. I prefer to make it green keepers. It's just that we don't have a presence on the city website. It's just what's confusing. Well, yeah, and, and ideally, we should have a volunteer sign up on the city website. Yeah. and not have it involved yeah. in the Deer Creek Watershed Alliance. Right. Right. And I don't want to speak for anybody else and what we're able to even do and who would even have time to manage all of that. Well, and then that becomes, I kind of like green keepers selfishly because it's green keepers and it's all about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Where if we get a volunteer thing on the city's yeah. website, it might become like, Volunteer for the pancake dinner and yeah, and volunteer does, for the yeah, Great Keepers does and, reach an audience of yeah. of that Deer Creek Watershed Alliance mindset, uh -huh. and it goes out to a lot of people. It goes on their calendars, mm -hmm. it goes on GRG's calendars. It, it's got a huge reach, which the city probably wouldn't have. Is there a way to link on city's website has green keepers? It does. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just directs you to. Okay. I believe so. Yeah. So we'll we'll just keep rolling with that until something. We just got to talk about it more. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm so trying. Let me to... ask the uh, group. Um, I, I'm really excited by everything's everybody's doing on on all three of these uh, old businesses. Do we want to continue to do as a group um, a monthly speaker series and really? Uh, where do we want to go? Erin Shank looks like she'll be able to do, um, what did I say? May 26th. That's a pavilion. So okay. Didn't now we we're have, June. now we're into June. But didn't we have Erin Shank? You were going to talk to her about doing the Monarch? Yeah, she's going to do that at the pavilion. The okay. Um, okay. She'll tell me 100% tomorrow, but it looks like that's going to work for her. So okay. do we want to think about the end of June? It seems like the last Thursday okay. and, um, you know, indoor, you know, outdoor. And do we want to start to change topic a little bit, blend into something else? Just Well, I think we, we discussed briefly doing another tree ID walk since those are so popular and we seem to get different people coming to each one. Well, we're going to have the tree walk on Arbor Day. So maybe we don't need to do a tree walk right away. But I like, I don't know, Everybody else weigh in, but I like the monthly mm -hmm. thing. And I think it gives us a chance to too, like talk about the tree distinction every yeah. month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about um, the the monarchs or pollinators every month. Talk about um, the tree planting initiative every month. So that it's certainly like green keepers yeah. every month. And it's we can have a little blurb in the city page every month. And then it's sort of part of the culture of right. writing there. Right. And engage the audience and see what they where they want to go too. Yeah, the ideas they have that we have. Somebody suggested, you know, having kids take pictures of the pollinators in their gardens and putting it in the library or something like that. Citizen science. 
Well, we so. can tie in with the library every month and have different books. Yeah, you know, I just need to get with them. Yeah. So I think the monthly thing, does anybody think that could potentially pose the issues for us, like a monthly thing? If no. monthly is too much, maybe bi monthly, you know, I mean, every other, just kind of stay there. So maybe, we're not just. I mean, since people are kind of traveling a lot, presumably without a virus, we're traveling a lot over the summer, we could let up a little bit. And then maybe we can morph into doing a little bit of stewardship about our creeks and streams. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a whole program where they're looking for citizen scientists to do water quality testing. And there's training for that. And I think if we get that Rue mm -hmm. guy to come and talk. Oh, and then the big money thing. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be happy to talk about okay. what we've done along the creeks and mean. keep that awareness going. And we could do that right before our trash bash, which is usually in October. Okay. So maybe get the creek guy for September. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yvonne, have you heard? Any, have you seen the blue to blue conservation? They put that trash dam in Deer Creek. I, a little bit, yeah. So yeah. I actually did, I did a cleanup with them on Saturday on River Repair, and I actually talked to them about possibly speaking about what they do. We mm -hmm. maybe can like tie it in to make it like the guy from Big Muddy and the trash people with their yeah. trash dam, like so it's like a hybrid to kick off the trash bash yeah. as well. So and, there are um, Danielle Hackey, Hackey can come in and talk about doing the water, citizen yeah. scientist water quality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is all the last Thursday of September. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the library, the library, wants planning. Do, yeah. library wants to do a dark sky, you know, the whole light pollution thing. So we can tie that into that. That'd be a good and uh, late fall. But, you know. And then Yvonne, oh, sorry, you're going to say something. Uh, yeah, just briefly, if we're going to do tree planting demonstrations this summer, that in a way, could also be one of our summer right. events. Exactly. So if we thin out our speakers a little in the summer, yeah. you know, we've got other stuff going on. Right. That's all. That's yeah. Right. Uh, who, 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 what month were those talks going to be? I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know. <laughs> we better reel it in. And well, we're, we're open for June. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure yet. Where? I think summer's a good time for those, though. So July, August. Yeah, August would be good. August, September. Well, because we're going to be planting in September, October, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to have these yeah. ahead of time so people understand what they're committing to. Yeah. So mm -hmm. June or July okay. is my best guess at this point. Right. For the what? For the um, the planting. For the demos related to the uh, Green Our City initiative. Okay, yes. Question. Um, I've been printing up little posters, you know, little flyers, which seem to have some. Is there a way I can get them printed on city instead of running the UPS all the time? Oh, the little flyers. We might make, make up five or six to take one. Yeah, this is absolutely. Should she come here? Yeah, or come here to you or to you if, yeah, I would come down and see me. Just send, send me a text okay. and let me know you're right. Just send okay. Uh, I've just been using, you know, open source, you know, copyright issues, <laughs> graphics, whatever I can find. Okay. Ideally, we should have our own graphic. But... So um, I attended the. Um, the Mayor's Monarch Pledge, um, the quarterly um, national, the last meeting. And uh, I don't know who it was to talk about citizen scientists for uh, water, but it was mostly on the studies that they've done out uh, west, west of the Rockies. So it was a lot of California. And uh, uh, but it was real interesting. Hardcore science, there's a huge amount of community <laughs> involvement um, out, out west and, and down to Texas. So it'd be great to build on that. And there's a lot of resources. So I'm, I'm going to stay up. I get monthly newsletters from them and uh, we'll attend the quarterly meetings and, and anything that moves west of the Rockies, <laughs> I will let us know. OK, well, that's a lot going on, um, and I guess 
item C of old business sort of leaked into item D, which is the speaker series. So I think we're at, we've done it. We have a good discussion there. Um, and that'll just flush out as we go a little bit more. So it sounds like we've got March, April, and May wrapped up. Okay. Okay, um, anything else then on the speaker series? Just to clarify, is Colleen Baum on March 30th or 31st? The minutes say 31st, but earlier today, somebody said 30th. Uh, whichever is a Thursday. <laughs> Just... Thursday, only on 31st. Um, 31st. 31st? 31st. Okay, the minutes are correct. Wait, there is no April. March 31st. March 31st. April 28th is the 30th. Okay, good. Can somebody just check that April 28th and then May 26th. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, great. Right. So, Yvonne, I got a question for you. The prairie, little mini prairie by Gibbons, who's down there on Rock Hill Road? Mm -hmm. Who takes care of that? Is that yours or is that? I have not burn it. Months, but it's MDC did the burn. Yeah, so I actually Lisa, Lisa Picker. last weekend, not last weekend, last week, we did a 20 acre burn. And we talked about maybe burning that this fall with MDC's help. Is that all? Uh, who actually owns that property? I think the school. Yeah, the school. School. yeah if you want to, I can give you a little background. School, yeah, can. and then you can tie that into Mayor's Mark as well. Mm -hmm. So, Mayor's Mark. Yeah. But Aaron, no, she wants to demo our garden. But Lisa, Lisa Picker is still, run, run, I'd say, running it because we, um, we helped uh, Carrie. I can't remember um, who helped. They did a bunch of work this past spring. Was it in the spring, Jerry? Or I think it was the fall. It was okay. The fall. They did but, like. Um, yeah, we president of the Webster Gross Foundation, we did the grant to what was uh, speaker at the time. So Lisa built the whole, um, you know, with with that money put in that whole prairie. So um, and she still, she we were kind of looking for this cohort of volunteers to help there too periodically because we we did a lot, but we we only got about a quarter of the way through. But I don't know if she does want to do a burn or not. But it, she's also the, the biggest beekeeper in uh, Webster. So she's a, she's Jerry, a, could could you send that contact information to Joe? Yep. Thank you. Okay. She she was the head of science teacher at, at Steger at the time. That's that's why she's since retired, and her and her husband they were both science teachers for my kids' whole journey through Webster. So would she know who to contact at the school? Oh yeah, for sure. But they still rely on her to like kind of oversee the whole thing. Okay. That's okay. It. So send that information to Joe, please. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, the next item of old business is the Arbor Day celebration. I'm ready. You're ready? <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Okay. Ginger, Scouts? Yes, I've got Scouts Chef. lined up. Mayor, whoever that Boy may Scouts, be. By the way. Boy Scouts. Um, Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. Okay. Not um, and they will bring their own flag and flag. everything. Yep. Okay. Yep. They'll be uniformed. Right. They'll be uh, the new mayor. Hopefully, will be there for the proclamation. I'm supposed to remind Katie. Um, council person. Hopefully, that'll be Pam. And would you mind talking about? Um, so there's two anniversaries. One is Arbor Day 50 years, and there's another one of the 150 year anniversary of like the first concept of it. Um, Did you say 150? 150. Years? And wow. so, yeah, it's from 18 something. Mm -hmm. So if you could, if you go to Arbor Day Foundation or just type in 150 year anniversary of Arbor Day and see what you can come up with for that. Um, and just talk you know briefly about um okay the history of arbor day i think i can kind of update what i did last year maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah and i think that'd be great and then joe Thanks, will you introduce tree of distinction yeah. um annie are you there can, i'm here okay put you in charge of uh the tree steward 
Do I think we're going to have Tessa? So Tessa says this tree steward. Great. Come up with a few nice things to say about Tessa and planting oh. trees. <laughs> about her and her tree planting. Okay, yes. I'll in touch with her about that. Has okay. anyone has anyone told her that this? I the have. Yeah, she knows. You did? She knows. She did. Okay, yeah. good. She I saw her things. today at another meeting yeah. out at the Transportation Museum, but I didn't know myself. So, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> so I'll see if we can pull something together from her. Okay. And, and then I guess find out if she wants to talk a little bit too, because sometimes people do, and I want to make sure I leave time for that. Right. I agree with that. Okay. Important. Um, Yvonne will take care of snacks, podium, speaker, chairs, um, drinks. Uh, Carrie and Jenny, could you take care of the flyer or the program? Yeah. Okay, so. Well, um, wait, I, I think, were you gonna work on the program? I can. Did I talk to you about that? I think briefly, like months ago. Jenny said she would do it. Okay. She said it she, would be pretty easy for her. Okay. Like and then she'll use like the new graphics for the city. Okay. Okay. Um, and then she'll take care of advertising for it. Okay. Um, and closing ceremony with the scouts. So um, tree planting at three o'clock. Um, so if you want to come early, we'll probably pre dig the holes, but we're going to shoot for 150 trees between Barbary and Shady wow. Creek. And then the ceremony will start at 5 30. You said 150 trees, right? Did I miss where the celebration is going to be? At Barbary Park. Okay. Nope, I did. I said it in my head and it didn't come out. I got a hold of Mark Gruber to do a tree walk. Oh, yeah, good. good. That's After, right. Yeah. Okay. He said he would do it. That's great. Does he want to talk at all or just at the end? Okay. So, Mark, Mark Gruber. That's a lot of trees. That was that small area. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, uh, can we also talk, or could I, or one of us talk about um, tree, tree, green keepers? Mm -hmm. Where would you like to be? In I don't lineup? know. How about? I don't care. Right after council. Okay. Right after PM. Sure. Okay, then Carrie will. Talk about green keepers and maybe give us three sentence sneak preview to the tree about uh, future tree sophistication just to get the okay. Okay, so I can do a little update from the green space or something. Okay, mm -hmm. we can talk about all the initiatives, including the you know the expanded speaker series and. Focus on pollinators. Okay, great. Okay. And that's all I have for that. I think that that's pretty much what we do for our event these days. Um, and as far as tree giveaways, I'm still going to try to get a hold of some seedlings. Uh, Forest Relief kind of said no about. Oh, really? Yeah. One year they gave us a bunch. Yeah. But the new guy he said no, not unless you can guarantee they'll be planted in the public space. So oh. but I'll try to have something. Artificial trees. <laughs> so it's gonna start at 5 30. 5 30. Tree painting at three. It's gonna be eat a breeze. We did 200 trees last time. Uh, any questions about Arbor Day? Did, excuse me. Did, uh, did you say it's going to be at Barbary Park? And mm -hmm. um, what by the new statue there? Or does it, not that it matters, but is there any particular location in there? That it will probably be by that area and then we'll put some chairs kind of out in that grassy spot. Uh-huh. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah. Just, just to picture that, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, great. It's gonna be a okay. beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
We'll put up a tent for the speakers and everybody else can bring an umbrella if it is <laughs> Okay. Um, any other questions about Arbor Day? All right. Uh, updates from the chair. I don't, I don't have any other updates. Was I supposed to update you guys on anything? Okay, um, an update from Pam. Yeah, um, we have a lot actually. Um, the results of the ARP uh, Rescue Fund um, survey with Balancing Act are up on the website. Um, there were 132 submissions, which was really pretty cool. I don't know if you had a chance to look at that. And then I think we're going to reuse the tool again later for the regular city budget. So it is, it is a really neat tool. It goes very specifically, drills down in different initiatives. So those results are on the website. Um, the Business Development Commission has posted a survey about um, the business community, and that is on the website as well. If you go to administration slash business roundtable and you can find that or anybody that wants to fill that out. Um, Sustainability Commission will be presenting the first steps of their sustainability plan at the upcoming council meeting on March 15th during the work session. So that's a cool thing. And I think, you know, you've got a lot of integral um, initiatives there. So that would be something to watch. And then also um, council will be hearing the text amendments for the tree preservation and landscape ordinance that plan commission um, passed uh, earlier this year. And um, that essentially just takes, uh, created a new cha a chapter for tree preservation and updated definitions and other little code related things for the landscape ordinance. So that's that's good news and relates to you all. Um, and then on April 5th, we've got two propositions. First one is Prop U, and that's a sales tax, um, internet sales tax. It's a use tax to help level the playing field for our local businesses. It's for purchases from out-of-state vendors, um, and those funds will be to uh, fund public services. And then finally, Prop W, um, is about the city charter and the charter is our governing document for our city. Um, and so a few years ago, council discussed and decided to post the residents every eight years, whether they would like uh, to call for a charter advisory review board. And so this, this is the first time we'll be asking residents if they'd like to, for us to do that. And that's all I have. Yeah. Um, the March 15th sustainability mm -hmm. um, presentation, what time is that? You know? That will be at the work session. It's usually um, anywhere from 6 um, to 6.30. It just depends on what's on the agenda for that day. Um, okay. You can, we'll know on Thursday, and it'll probably be posted on the website on Thursday, okay. and that will start. Okay. Any, any questions for Pam? I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Yeah, I just happened to be out of town both of those yeah. times. So that's why you had fun. Yeah, and I did watch your things and I did, you know, quickly type up those and let people know what was going on. Thank so, you. Yeah. All right. Um, Yvonne, do you have any other updates? I, I don't, but I just wanted to remind you, Joe, about. Oh, giving us that quick presentation on the 15th. Is that on the 15th? Is it yes, and Katie leave? is supposed to let you know what time. So she has your slides, and then I sent her a picture of someone getting the award. Cool. Okay. No, I. So, is, is that so the same in our work session as well? I guess so. Yeah. That's awesome. I know we, we, it's been talked about, but it hasn't really been. Yeah, I think Scott mailed. did put it on the agenda. And oh, good. Katie was, hopefully, she's going to. I haven't seen anything yet, so. Okay. Yeah, and basically, you're just going to be talking up the just trees quick, and extinction. Well, you, you've seen the slides, yeah. just a quick, just what it is and why we need to promote it more. I yeah. guess I don't know. Whether you're just simple, you know, just make awareness. So. Right. That's all I have. All right. 
any other updates? Okay. So our, our next meeting is April the 4th, right back here, 515. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's it, I guess. And then the talk. The talk, March 31st. Did I bring any snacks for that? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, I think the light was still doing no food. No okay. food. Okay. No you shouldn't. What time is it? Um, seven o'clock. Seven at the library. Okay. Seven. Nice. And we have to make sure that we understand. <clears throat> What the IT yeah, stuff? Yeah, we can do. That. Um, Debbie assures me it's very easy to use. Okay. I have. All a right. Oh, well. Go ahead. Now the on those speakers, there's are there three? Am I right? And is there also a May speaker series in the library? Also a third one. The one just May will be outside. The oh, one Larson's May twenty sixth really will be in Larson Park. Okay, that's why we're pavilion. Getting... Oh, okay. What's the speaker on what this topic on that? Um, it'll be pollinators by Erin Shank. Oh, okay, thanks. She's it's... really in the native bees, and Missouri has lots of yes. Yeah, so Erin Shank's from the Missouri Department of Conservation. Okay, thanks. Not a hundred percent confirmed yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for all your hard work. Thank you. Hearing about our green space. Yes. All right. Go green space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed how much is going on. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Talk soon. Bye bye. Is it end? Mm -hmm.